It's daylight saving time. Be sure to change the clocks. March 8th, we spring forward and lose an hour of sleep. If you wonder again, what's the point? Thank Benjamin Franklin. He came up with the idea in 1784 to change the clocks in the spring and move an hour of daylight from morning to the evening to save on candles. But daylight saving wasn't really implemented until World War I. Germany used it as a strategy to save fuel and the U.S. followed suit. During World War II, it came back for the same reason, to conserve energy. Back then, it was daylight saving year round. After the war, it got a little confusing. Some states and regions observed daylight saving and others didn't. This made it hard to predict train and bus schedules and TV programming. Then came the energy crisis in the early 70s and a greater need to make better use of daylight. But today, there's much debate on whether it really saves money. Some studies show the energy saved by not turning on the lights was canceled out by the need for heat and air conditioning. In 2005, President Bush signed into law what we follow today. Daylight saving from the second Sunday in March until the first Sunday in November. Everywhere in the USA, except Arizona and Hawaii.